In this video, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between photos and videos using the updated Instagram Reels editor. Hi, I'm Ida, a corporate storyteller and online educator based in Vancouver, Canada. Are you an entrepreneur ready to take your business to the next level, but when it comes to Reels, you don't know how you can use them to grow your business? Well, I've created the Reels Blueprint, which is going to guide you through the gear, and the strategy behind using Reels to grow your business. Download my free Reels Blueprint now. We're live. Okay, so let's go into Instagram Reels and I'm just going to add a bunch of clips and swipe up, let's add that last one. There we go. So I added a few clips and now to access the transitions between clips, I'm gonna have to go into edit clips here at the bottom. So I'm gonna click edit clips and then when you see, it's just gonna keep playing like this. If you don't want it to keep playing, you can just press the pause button and it's just gonna pause for a second. To access the transitions, you just have to press between the clips. So this like oval piece between the clips, if you, it's too hard to click on it, you can actually just pinch and like your fingers to zoom in and zoom out on the timeline. And you just click on it. And once you click on it, it's going to allow you to choose the transition. So currently I have no transition clicked and then I can choose the first one. So I'm just gonna look through the transitions and see which one I like. I think this one was the coolest, the light one, yeah. Cause then it looks like it's like a photo, switching from photo to next photo. I could just press apply to all here at the bottom and then it's going to apply that same transition between each of my clips. This is a long clip. Let's shorten this clip. So if we want to shorten the clip, we're just going to click on that clip and use that end part to just shorten it. And you can see I have all my transitions. And the good thing about having that transition at the end and at the beginning is because it's going to transition the last clip with the first clip. So it's not gonna be obvious where you started the video. So more people are more likely to watch through it multiple times. So you can see I have these lovely transitions between the, video, the photos and the video. If I make my clip too short, I'm gonna make these really short. There we go, let's zoom in on this timeline. You're gonna see it's going to look really ridiculous. Or actually, this looks kind of cool. Sorry, I lied, I love this. This looks really cool. But you can see it has that fast effect as it goes through. So if you zoom in, but once you zoom in like this, you're not going to be able to add that transition. So if you wanna zoom in and make these like so short, then I suggest adding the transitions first when the clips are longer and then making them shorter because I can't access that transition now. My clips need to be at least three seconds for me to be able to see and access the transitions. So if your clips are shorter than that and you're trying to add transitions, that's the problem. You're just gonna have to make them longer, add transitions and then shorten them to how quick you want them. But then you can see I can't see a transition here, but the transition is there because I added it while the clip was longer. And I can go in and I can change the transition, but I suggest that it, when you do a transition between them, I don't suggest changing from one transition to the next. I suggest you picking one transition and sticking to it from the entire video. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. If you wanna dive deeper, I have an amazing freebie that's gonna transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time, peace.